welcome back. All right, today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite manicures of the year. Now this is a collab video, so I'm going to link everyone's channel down below. Make sure you go check out their videos. So a lot of us are handling this in different ways. Some of us are doing our top 20s. Some are doing top 23 of, you know, 2023. Um, some are doing, you know, 23 with honorable mentions. Me personally, I'm just doing my favorite manicures of the year. I did my best to narrow this down to my absolute favorites there are a lot more that i absolutely love throughout the year but these are just the ones that really spoke to me okay so i think i have somewhere like around 30 ish okay so the first one um, and i'm going um backwards so i'm starting from january and then going till december okay so the first one i wore was a cup of joe which is beautiful by um colors de carol so so pretty look at those flakies and then on top, I added gold, my reflective glitter. And this was so pretty. This gave just the tiniest little bit of twinkle. And this was so pretty. And I love like white and gray soft flakies in the winter. And this was just perfect for starting the year out. Okay, and then the second one I wore was a polish from my Dupy My Polish Pickup wish list. And I started off with Lake as the base. So pretty. And then I topped it with Batsy from Rogue, Rogue Lacquer. This is my thinned out version. And then I did Soul Amazing from KB Shimmer on top. And this was so, so pretty. And I believe my dupe was pretty much spot on for what I was duping. Okay, I'm, I've used some of the toppers in multiple Manny, so as I use them, I'm gonna try to remember where they belong to go into the next Manny. Um, I'm not sure where this one belongs, but, oh, right there. Okay, and then the next Manny I wore was Zoya's Jackie. Got this from my friend Barb. Beautiful, kind of like rich russet orange. And funny enough, this is actually the second polish that Barb has given me named Jackie. And then I used two toppers because I couldn't decide between the two. So I topped it with Zoya's um, Maria Luisa. Yeah. And then Golden Enchantment by China Glaze. And this was so pretty. I loved this. The gold on top of the rich orange was just really beautiful. Okay. Then I wore a polish that I made from my brand Never Naked by Jackie. And this is my Prugly Heart. And I just love this, you guys. This polish is just me in a bottle. It's a prugly mustard, and it's got that beautiful um, rich red shimmer with the little tiny black to red multi-chrome flakies. And I just really, really loved this. I made a polish for me and just loved it. Okay, then... I wore, this one is so, so beautiful. I wore Color Clubs Made in the USA as the base. And then as a topper, I wore Crystal Opal by um, Fancy Gloss. I love their toppers. They're so amazing. I've used many of them multiple times throughout the year. And this one is actually going to be in another Manny. But this together was just uh, absolutely amazing mind-boggling okay this one i believe goes there okay then i did another dupey my polish pickup wish list i wore celichroma's dragon fruit as the base so beautiful absolutely gorgeous look at that shifting shimmer and then those little flakies and with the white base Ugh, just beautiful and then on top to add a little bit of sparkle i wore fair maidens iced Absolutely beautiful. I loved this one. Okay, then I wore Sailor by Zoya as my undies. And then on top, I wore Posh for Days Fire Rainbow. Look at that. So pretty. And this together was really beautiful. I love this. Okay, 
then I wore Come On Clover as my undies, my base. And then for my two toppers, I wore Gold by Never Naked. And then KB Shimmer's Soul Amazing. And this together was so pretty. You guys know that I have to have at least one slimy, prugly green mini. I had several and I could have picked them all, but I'm, you know, trying to kind of narrow it down a little bit. So I just picked one, but it's um, really beautiful. Okay, then I wore, this one was so, so pretty. I wore Kelly by Zoya as my base. And then on top, I wore Mesmer by Fancy Gloss. So beautiful. And this is another one that I've worn. I had to find where it goes. So I wore this twice for my favorites. I'm telling you, these Fancy Gloss Ethereal Flaky Toppers are just so good. And this smoky gray base, beautiful. Okay, where did this go? I think it goes here. Okay, then this Manny was so interesting and unique. It was just really cool. I wore new colors, 979 as the base. Got this from the dollar store. Really interesting. It's kind of like, almost like a mint green, but it's got kind of like a prugly mint green feel to it. I don't know, really, really interesting. And then I wore two toppers. I wore El Salto by Bettina. And then I wore Ruffle by Sally Hansen from their Lux Lace collection. I also got this from the dollar store. And this together was just so interesting. It felt kind of retro, but really cool. Like retro and really cool. It was just really interesting. I liked this. Okay, then I did, obviously I love this. I loved all these manis. I did a jelly sandwich. I used Cirque Colors Morning Tide. Their um, jellies are really nice. Um, they have the perfect formulas to do jelly sandwiches where it's not too opaque, but it's also not streaky, like just really, really perfect. And then I use Glam Polish Trolls or Witches Oh My as my undies or as my glitter in between the sandwich. I got this from Carolina and this was so perfect, you guys. I still kind of think that Carolina sent me this by accident because I can't believe that she sent me this. So, so pretty. Anytime we do mini swaps, she um, tends to send me glam polishes because she knows I love them. But this was so cool. Okay, and this is definitely one of my top favorite um, glam toppers. Okay, then I wore Emily Damali's Another Dimension. This was from Polish Pickup. Look how pretty that is, you guys. This is so intricate and just beautiful. Okay, then this Manny was so happy. I wore Zoya's Pippa as the base. A really happy sunshiny yellow, which this year and kind of Partly into last year, I've been breaking away from or branching out from only wearing mustards. Before, the only yellows I really ever wore were mustards or kind of like prugly yellows. And I'm slowly branching out. And my friend um, Laura sent me this one. And then as a topper, I wore Sally Hansen's Lux Lace Eyelet from the dollar store again. And this was just so fun. Like I don't know. I, like It was just a happy manicure. I did not want to take this off. I absolutely loved wearing this. Okay, then the next mini. Both of these polishes are from my brand, Never Naked by Jackie. I'd had this mani set aside and I just hadn't worn it yet because I sometimes feel a little weird wearing my own polishes. Like I don't want to feel like I'm trying to advertise my own brand, but in reality, I'm just wearing polishes that I made and that I love. But anyways, so the base was White Christmas, which was from one of my Christmas collections. So white, and then I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but it's got soft gold flakies, like little gold sparkles, tiny, tiny sparkles. And then the topper that I used is called Green Flame. 
And this together was just so pretty. I really loved the little tiny gold sparkles peeking out and then the green flakies and then you can't really tell, you can't really see it in the bottle, but it also has little tiny black speckles, which you guys know I love speckles, black speckles in particular. And this together was just so interesting. I really, really enjoyed this many. Doggies are playing. Okay, then the next mani I wore was China Glaze. I got a blue attitude as the base. Absolutely gorgeous. It started to suffer from ugly bottle syndrome, but the polish itself still works perfectly fine. And then the topper was Fancy Gloss Crystal Opal. So I used this again. Hi, this is Daddy. So absolutely beautiful. These blue shifting flakes on top of this bluey purple was just absolutely amazing. What are you guys doing? You're being silly. Okay, then I believe that, oh, careful. I believe that was the last time I used that one for favorites. Okay, and then, hi, yes, hi, mommy's filming. Okay, then the next polish I got from Polish Pickup it's Pinnacle Polish All Lime. Now, this was never on my initial wish list. I got this because my friend Barb really wanted it. Um, she ended up not getting it, so I surprised her. I got two of them, one for me, one for her, and then we twinned for her birthday. And I am so glad I picked this up because it's absolutely beautiful. It's this bright, limey green, and then it's got little tiny, I don't know if it's coming across on the camera, little tiny gold flakes, and it was just so beautiful, amazing formula. Mine had an amazing formula. Barb said her formula wasn't the best, which is unfortunate, but just so, so pretty. I really, really love this and I'm glad I picked it up. Okay, the next man, you guys, holy cow. So my sister-in-law, Tara, hi, yes. My sister-in-law, Tara, told me, oh, you should wear pink. And I actually had this Manny set aside that I was planning to wear. And then she told me I should wear bright neon pink. And so I wore this one next. I think I was maybe planning to wear it like in two Mannies or something. So the base is Orly's Passion Fruit. Look at that, you guys. This is so bright pink that it is freaking out the camera. Like you don't get more neon pink than this. This is just crazy. And then on top, I wore Fancy Gloss Fire Opal. You guys, this was so crazy neon and beautiful that I just, pictures didn't even do this justice. And then my sister-in-law had the nerve to tell me <laughs> that it wasn't pink enough. <laughs> she told me it was too red, it wasn't pink enough. But I mean, you don't get more pink than this. This was so beautiful. I loved, loved this Manny. Okay, then the next mani I wore was another neon. I wore Color Club's Blaze, which is a bright neon red. Beautiful, beautiful neon red. Really nice formula. And then as my topper, I wore Poseidon by my brand Never Naked by Jackie. This was so beautiful. The red or the blue on top of the red was just amazing. This topper did kind of tone this down and it did pull a little bit more kind of like pinky red, but it was so beautiful. I just really absolutely loved this manicure. It was so glowy. And then the bright red just made me so happy. Really gorgeous mani. Okay, then the next mani, I don't actually have the polish. I borrowed the polish from Krista when I was visiting her last summer um, in July. I went for 4th of July. Um, and she let me borrow one of her polishes. It was swamp gloss and i forget what the polish was called um i want to say it's like now something i will put it on the screen but it was a beautiful white crelly and then it had these gorgeous kind of like minty turquoisey flakies and then it had little black speckle flakies in that not flakies um but they were kind of like little black squared glitters it was so Beautiful. I loved that Manny and I actually have plans to try to recreate it next year, which is in a few days, like two days. 
um, so that I can try to rewear it over the summer. It was just beautiful, I loved it, and I was very happy that she let me borrow it while I was there. Okay, the next one, another bright pink Manny. I wore Essie's Watermelon. Look at that, so pretty. And then as my topper, I wore another one of my toppers. I wore Leprechaun. And this was so pretty. These toppers that I made are so shimmery and glowy. I just love them. And this was so beautiful and just fun. Okay, then I wore I Feel the Need, the Need for Speed by Restored by Polish. Um, Restored by Polish and then Restored Naturally is her brand by Jacqueline. So pretty. Look at that bright orange and then that gorgeous goldy shimmer was so pretty. Perfect formula. Just absolutely glowy and bright and just beautiful. Okay, then ah, this was amazing. I was doing a copycat that Amy Sue had worn and I just had to copy her Manny. I used Color Club's Cherry Icy. Yes, Cherry Icy as a base. Look at that, another bright pinky neon that's freaking out the camera. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so surprised that a lot of my favorites this year were pinks because I always say I don't really like pinks. However, I do really like dark, bright, like neon type pinks, really, really pretty. And then the two toppers I wore, holy cow, you guys. I wore Fancy Glass Mesmer again. And then I used Rogue's Batsy, my thinned out version. And this together, you guys, wow. This was just stunning, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, then another amazing manicure that I did not want to take off. I was doing a twin with Amy Sue. I used Neon um, Salon Perfect. It's one of their Neon Pops. Uh, Copa Cabana Girl as the undies. And then I wore Polish Grapefruit Fizz on top. You guys, I'm not kidding when I said I did not want to take this off. This was so amazing so glowy and vibrant and those flakies ugh. and then with this neon base it was the perfect base for this and this was just a hard favorite this year okay then another one that really surprised me how much i liked it was different dimensions rocket rocket man I had seen this, I'd been eyeing this for a couple years. Um, the reason I hadn't gotten it was because some swatches made it look very baby blue and then other swatches made it look a little more periwinkle, which is what I would have preferred. I don't love baby blues. And so she had a big sale and she was kind of um, like downsizing her company, um, different dimensions, and I decided to just get it. And I'm so glad I got it because it's beautiful. It is a soft blue, but it pulls just a smidgen, just enough um, periwinkle that I really loved it. And those flakies, and it had the perfect formula, just really, really pretty, and I'm so glad I finally got it. Look at those flakies. Okay, then I wore Emily Damali, The Time Is Now. Look how pretty that is. This is just in your face flaky bomb. Gorgeous. Okay, then I wore Bees Knees Lacquer Come Out, Come Out. Amy Sue and I have been trying to wear our untried Bees Knees Lacquers, so we've been wearing a few throughout the last couple few months we've been trying to go through them and this one is so so pretty is it blue is it purple it's both and then it's got that gorgeous kind of like turquoisey shimmer turquo yeah more turquoisey than teal absolutely beautiful sparkly just amazing it's showing up only blue on the camera but my swatch picture shows that it's 
blue and purple depending on you know how you angle your nails okay then i wore monarch eerie embers of salem i got this from polish pickup i could not pass this up i had to get it i'm just in love with orangey red jelly halloween polishes that have the glowing flakes black flakies in them just whatever i love them and I could not pass this up when I saw this on Polish Pickup, and it was beautiful. It's the perfect Halloween polish. Okay, then I had at least three that I saw on my Instagram feed of um, very similar looking combos, and I just picked one because they all honestly looked very, very similar which obviously I was very drawn to this color story. So for this one, I use Zoya's Dove as the base, which is a very soft gray. And then as a topper, I use Night Out Lacquer's Halloween Always, a beautiful purple flaky topper with reflective glitter. I had, like I said, at least two more where the base was either like just a soft gray or like a soft taupey gray, and then these kind of purpley, fallish flakies on top and it was just so beautiful so like i said i just picked one but i had several that i absolutely loved one of them was i used a rogue topper um i'm forgetting what the name of the polish was but it was one of their fall um flaky bombs from last year and then another one was where i used another rogue um uh, one of their halloween toppers and just so so pretty i really loved this color combo, obviously. Okay, <clears throat> then the next one, I wore Essie's Kaftan, which I got from Five and Below for like $3 or $2.50, something like that. So pretty, such a beautiful, interesting base. And then on top, I wore Island P's Metropolis. And this together was just so interesting. Really, really nice. And this had an amazing formula. Okay, we're almost done, just a couple more. Then I wore Polished for Days Towards the Light. So, so pretty, I have like cat hair everywhere. <laughs> cat hair and dust, it's so dusty here. Look at this, you guys. This was so, <laughs> this was so pretty. Like a dusty, smoky purple, absolutely gorgeous. And then it's chocked full of those golden flakes. This was, just beautiful. Okay, then I wore another Bees Knees Lacquer with Amy Sue. We wore the Puppy People. And this is so pretty. It looks kind of like a dark bluey purple in the bottle, but then on my nails, it's like a very soft, kind of sheer magenta-ish color. So beautiful. And then it's got that gorgeous shimmer. So honestly, I don't, I don't know if you can kind of see, I don't know if it's gonna, can you kind of see right there how it's pulling magenta-ish? That's what it looked like on my nails. So it never built up to this rich purpley blue. It was just that beautiful magenta base. And honestly, I'm not mad because it was so beautiful. And then that gorgeous shimmer in it. All right, the last two were from December. The first one I wore, I love this, is Nailed It Peppermint Bark. So this has been a lemming of mine for a couple years. By the time I even really knew about Nailed It, um, like before they, by the time they were on my radar, this polish was no longer on their website. It had been a limited edition polish and I just wanted it so badly. I kept hoping that I could come across it someday. And then this year on a whim, at the very last minute, I was doing my Black Friday shopping. And I was like, I hadn't even thought of Nailed It. I was like, oh, let me just see what Nailed It has. I haven't looked at their website in quite a while. And lo and behold, they had this polish back for Black Friday. It was a limited edition again, and I snatched it up. It is so pretty. It's a soft white crowley, and then it's chocked full of little tiny red flakies, and then it's got like a very cohesive shimmer. You see that? 
I don't know if the shimmer is coming across, but this was just so pretty and dainty and I'm just so glad that I finally was able to get my lemming. All right, and then the very last Manny I wore, of my favorites, I wore this polish for like four days. I just finally took it off last night and I've been wearing, I wore it since Christmas. This was my Christmas Manny. I wore Berry Naughty as my base from Essie. Beautiful, nice formula. And then a topper that, from my brand, that I actually made this topper like three years ago. I was intending this for this to be one of my very first collections. I was planning to do a Christmas collection, but I wasn't able to get all my ducks in order until February. And then my first collection ended up being my pets collection. I just never got around to using this in a collection, but it's just a red gold glitter topper. And then I used KB Shimmer's um, Candy Cane Candy Cane Crush. I use I wear this every single year since I got it. It's been like I want to say eleven years since this came out, and this was so 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 beautiful. This sparkled, and this over the rich base, and then the sparkles, and then this on top was just perfect. Loved this Manny. All right, you guys, those were all of my favorites of the year. Um, I had a lot of really good manis this year, a lot of fun, just bright, happy manis. Um, just really happy with this year's manis. Um, please make sure you go and check out everyone else's videos. I'm going to link them down below, like I said. Um, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's, um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.